Dealing with unwanted content. Control what you see for a more comfortable and social media experience. Filtering posts. It is possible to filter statuses for specific keywords and phrases so that they can be hidden automatically. Filters. Keyword phrase. Filter context. Let's see, E3, home timeline, public timelines. Eurovision 2019 in colons, home timeline. Game of Thrones, home timeline, public. Home timeline, notifications, public timelines, conversations. A sample of active filters for various keywords in different contexts. Interesting. To create or manage your filters, go to Settings, Filters. The Add New Filter button will let you create a new filter, and existing filters can be edited or deleted. Your existing filters will be summarized in a table. Edit Filter. Keyword or phrase, expire. Context, drop instead of hide, whole word, save changes. Filters have the following settings. Keyword or phrase. This is the string that will be matched. The keyword will be searched for in any status's content, including CW, media descriptions, and poll options. Expire after. Optionally, only apply the filter for a limited amount of time. Expired filters are not automatically deleted, but can be reactivated by setting a new expiry date or changing it back to never expire. Filter context. Choose where the filter will be applied. Home timeline equals matching statuses will be removed from your home feed. Notifications equal matching notifications will not be shown. Public timelines equal matching statuses will not appear in local federated timelines. Conversations equal matching statuses will be hidden in threads and detailed views. Drop instead of hide. Filtering is usually done client side so that disabling a filter will cause filtered statuses to be visible again. However, if you enable drop instead of hide, any matching statuses will be ah, so B doesn't belong there. Any matching statuses will disappear completely and will never be delivered to your home or notifications. Whole word. Filters normally apply to any status that contains the included characters, regardless of whether they are in the middle of a word. Enabling whole word will only apply the filter if the keyword is surrounded by spaces or other non-alphanumeric characters. User level actions. The user drop-down menu offers various actions. Hiding boosts. If you hide boosts from someone, you won't see their boosts in your home feed. This option only appears on users who you are currently following. Muting. Sample of muted accounts. When muting, you have the option to mute notifications from them or not. Muting without muting notifications hides the user from your view. You won't see the user in your home feed. You won't see other people boosting the user. You won't see other people mentioning the user. 
you won't see the user in public timelines. If you choose to also mute notifications from them, you will additionally not see notifications from that user. The user has no way of knowing they have been muted. Blocking. Blocking hides a user from your view. Sample of blocked accounts. You won't see the user in your home feed. You won't see other people boosting the user. You won't see other people mentioning the user. You won't see the user in public timelines. You won't see notifications from that user. Additionally, on the blocked user's side, the user is forced to unfollow you. The user cannot follow you. The user won't see other people's boosts of you. The user won't see you in public timelines. If you and the blocked user are on the same server, the blocked user will not be able to view your posts on your profile while logged in. Hiding an entire server. If you hide an entire server, you will not see posts from that server on the public timelines. You won't see other people's boosts of that server in your home feed. You won't see notifications from that server. You will lose any followers that you might have had on that server. Reporting problematic content to moderators. The report modal allows selecting example statuses, adding a note, and forwarding reports. If you see a status or user that is violating the rules of your website, you can report that user to your site's moderators. Clicking the Report option on the User dropdown or Status dropdown will open the report modal. Here you can and should add a note about why you are reporting this account. You can attach certain problematic statuses for additional context on why you are reporting the account. And if their conduct is violating the rules of the remote website, you can also choose to forward the report to their site's moderators. That was dealing with unwanted content. Promoting yourself and others. Give visibility to hashtags, profiles, and posts. Featured links on your profile. Featured hashtags. A featured hashtag showing last usage date and total usage. You can choose to feature certain hashtags that you use often. Go to Settings, Profile, Featured, Hashtags to manage which hashtags you are currently featuring. Once featured, a link to the hashtag will be shown in your, on your profile. With the date of the last time it was used in a status, as well as the total number of statuses in which it was used. Featured Profiles For randomly selected featured profiles. You can choose to feature profiles of people that you are following. Go to that person's profile drop-down menu and click Feature on Profile. When you feature a profile, a link to their profile will appear on your profile under a section titled Your Choices. Up to four profiles will be shown at a time, and these profiles are selected randomly 
from your pool or featured profiles every time the page is loaded. Pinned Posts A pin toot by mastodon.social forward slash at gargran. You can choose to feature up to five of your own public posts at the top of your profile. Go to the status drop down menu and click pin on profile. When you pin a toot, it will appear at the top of your toots tab before all other chronological status updates. Profile Directory Profile Directory as seen from Mastodon.social The Profile Directory shows all accounts that have opted into being shown in the directory and can be used to quickly find profiles that you may be interested in following. The Profile Directory can be sorted the profile directory can be sorted either by recent activity the most recently published status or by new arrivals the most recently created accounts the directory can also be filtered to show only local accounts or to show all known accounts that your website is aware of Profiles appear as cards that include a user's display name, address, account bio, and some brief stats such as how many toots they've published, how many followers they have, and the time of their last published status. That was Promoting Yourself and Others.